Have you ever needed to get two HDMI signals into one input? I'm Nick Moore and these are the new Kramer VS21DT and VS21DTP. Both units are 2x1 HDMI auto switches supporting 4K60, 420 and HDCP 2.2. Both units output over HD base T. Whilst the VS21DT must be powered locally, the VS21DTP can either be powered remotely or itself provide power for a remote receiver. In this demonstration, the VS21DTP is providing power down the line to the TP780 RXR. We're using the brand new Kramer 861 test pattern generator and analyzer as one of our sources and my laptop as the other. And when I switch my laptop from PC screen only to duplicate mode, for example, the VS21DTP will recognize that a new signal has been detected and will automatically switch to it. Of course, the switcher doesn't just respond if I switch my laptop into duplicate mode, but also extended mode. So I'm just going to do that. And it's now detecting that it's got a new signal and making the switch to my extended de desktop. Both the VS21DT and DTP have active input indicator lights on the front showing which of the inputs is currently enabled. They have indicator lights showing that they are either in priority switching mode or last connected switching mode, and they both have on indicators. In addition, the VS21DTP has a power over Ethernet status indicator. On the back of the unit, you can see the HDMI connectors for input 1 and 2 and the HD base T outputs. Next to that are the dip switches where you select between priority and last connected switching modes. There is a contact closure for remote override of the switching. And finally, we come to the power inputs. On the VS21 DT, there is a 5 volt input and on the VS21DTP, a 48 volt input, which can also provide power down the HD base T line to a compatible receiver. For more information on the VS21DT and DTP, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.